Hi all, welcome to another video of the subject power system analysis based on the KTU syllabus and uh, we are on module 4 and today we are going to learn the automatic generation control the basics of the automatic generation control and what is the need of this AGC that is automatic generation control so uh, why we are using this AGC because the active power P and reactive power Q are not steady they are continuously changing okay so uh, we have to control the active power P and reactive power Q so mainly for that we need the automatic generation control and what happened when P and Q varies what happened so the variation in p affects frequency and vice versa that is if there is a, a variation in the frequency it will affect the active power p and the variation in q that is the reactive power affects the voltage and also if there is a change in voltage it will affect the reactive power q okay and how p and q can be controlled okay what all methods we can use to control the active and reactive power so as we know the active power p depends on the frequency so uh, for controlling the active power we are uh, controlling the frequency okay so the frequency mainly which depends upon the turbine speed and uh, which depends upon steam input so actually for controlling the p that is controlling the active power we are controlling the steam input that is the input to the gener generator steam input okay uh, likewise for controlling the Q that is the reactive power uh, as we know the Q depends on the voltage which in turn depends in the excitation of the machine okay excitation voltage of the generator so uh, for controlling the Q we have to control the voltage the voltage is mainly controlled by the by controlling the excitation of the machine okay so two controls here the input to the machine is controlling so here the excitation of the machine is controlling so here we can call it as a load frequency control here it is the voltage control okay load frequency that is the we are maintaining the frequency as a constant here okay so uh, the steam input to turbo generators continuously regulated to match the active power demand failing which the machine speed will vary with the consequent change in frequency which may be highly undesirable normally we are keeping the frequency of the power system at 50 hertz so uh, the permissible change in the power frequency is plus or minus 0 0.5 hertz that is 49.5 in between the 49.5 and 50 okay so it is an important parameter the and for the excitation of the generators must be continuously regulated to match the reactive power demand with reactive generation otherwise the voltages at various system buses may go beyond the prescribed limit these two points we already discussed and why frequency to be maintained constantly what is the need of the frequency controlling the reason is here that is the change in frequency causes change in speed of the consumer's plant affecting the production process okay it will completely affect the uh, process of the plant and it is necessary to maintain the network frequency constant so that the power stations run satisfactorily in parallel we may be connecting number of generators in parallel so for working the generators properly satisfactorily we have to uh, maintain the frequency constant and the various motors operating on the system run at the desired speed okay that is an important thing and the correct time is obtained from synchronous clocks in the system and the entertaining devices function proper okay so these are the main reasons why we are keeping the frequency constant and this is a schematic of the load frequency control and the voltage control of a turbo generator here this is the uh, generator this is the turbine and this is the steam input here and uh, for the generator for controlling the voltage we are controlling the excitation okay so for controlling the excitation we are sensing the voltage from here okay and uh, comparing with the reference and uh, the error signal is uh, processed here and correspondingly we are controlling the excitation of the machine so here the frequency is controlling okay so the frequency 
is sensed using the frequency sensor here it is compared with the reference frequency and the race generator and it is processed okay and this is the steam value controller and it will control the valve input okay input valve of the steam to the turbine okay so the frequency control and voltage control can be viewed the from this schematic diagram so uh, this is the main uh, basics of the automatic generation control so uh, in the coming videos we will be discussing the load frequency control and voltage control etc so thank you